Okay, okay, okay. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome back. Um, quick correction from the last video. This is actually 1.7, not 1.6. I labeled them both 1.6 by accident. So I apologize for that. Um, this is part B of 1.7. Uh, real quick, we are on this practice problem where we're asked to make these acceleration, velocity, time graphs. And We've already made our acceleration and our velocity graph, so now it's just a matter of our position graph. And we're going to need some time and we're going to need some space for this. So what you're going to need to do is make a nice big chart because we are going to have delta x and time. Our time we have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then after the 6 second mark, it's a little bit different. So I'm going to change the color there. 7, 8, 9, 10. Delta X, what we're going to have, and I want a different color. I want something very pretty. Oh, this looks pretty. Oh, I am pretty. Oh, so pretty. I am charming and witty. All right, anyways, so delta x. We have an acceleration. Our acceleration, you may remember from the last one, as being 5 meters per second for the 6 seconds that we go. So our acceleration is 5 meters per second squared. That's important. Our velocity initial is 0. That's also important because that makes our problem very easy. We need to solve for the change in displacement for these numbers over here. And what we're going to end up using is this equation right here. Delta x equals 1 half at squared plus dit. Now the velocity initial is 0, so this part of the equation, don't even worry about it. Just worry about this. Um, delta x equals 1 half 5. one squared, right, for our first second. Now, the reason I made this a different color is because this green number is what we're going to change for these green numbers over here. Everything else remains the same. Our acceleration is the same. Our um, not velocity initial is still zero, so we only have to worry about this part. We're only changing the green. So, we're going to go ahead and fill in these numbers, and we're just plugging and chucking answers. So, Plug in 1 for that, we get 2.5. Plug in 2, we get 10. 22.5. 40. 62.5. And then 90. Now, after this point right here, where the numbers change color, we have a constant velocity. The velocity doesn't change for this point. That velocity is 30 meters per second. So that means every second we go past that sec six second mark, uh, we're going to go 30 meters. So that means that this is 120, 150, 180, 210. Now we can take this information and plot it. So going back over here, we still have the same amount of time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, but now we need to go all the way up to 200. Uh, so roughly by 20. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. 40, 160, 180, 200, 220. All right. Now what you're going to do is go ahead and just plot these points. Uh, red. Red sounds good. So at one second, we're at 2.5. Roughly right here. At two seconds, we're at 10. At three seconds, we're at 22.5. At four... At four seconds, we're at 40. Five seconds, 
62.5. Up there. Six seconds, we're at 90 meters. Right about there. And notice we have this nice curve as it goes up, right? We're going to connect these dots. Have a nice curve to it. Yay. Then after that, what we have is a constant velocity. And that is for 30 meters for every second up to, I think it sends up at 210, right about there. So this part of the equation, or this part of the problem, we have a nice curve that shows our acceleration. And then this section, we have an acceleration is zero. All right. Thank you very much for joining me. I will see you next time. Hopefully this is helpful. Good luck. Um, as far as the quiz goes, make sure that you are able to do some position time graphs. Uh, make sure you're able to use our equations. Uh, all are fair game. All right. Hasta luego.